Hello everyone, my name is Lorthorn, and welcome to Better Animals Plus, a mod made by Cybercat and its Meow. Now this mod is for 1.16 and 1.12. It is like Better Animal Models, however it's entirely new animals added to the game. Now, both mods can be downloaded, but they do not require each other. So you do not need Better Animals Plus for better animal models, and you do not need better animal models to get better animals plus. Now, unlike better animal models, this actually adds more stuff to the game, as you can probably already see. One of the big things it does is just add a whole bunch more animals into the game environment, which you can find around the world. One of the main things it seems to add is just more real world animals that are mostly in North America, I've noticed, and parts of Russia, like the bear, black bear, which is smaller. It's actually very nice. I've also got some deer, male and female deer, so their antlers are actually different sizes. Now I'm actually curious with that about the grizzly bear, if the mod maker decide to make a female grizzly bear. Now it doesn't look like they did. If there was a female grizzly, this hump on its back would be much less pronounced, and it would look closer to the black bear, although it would still be bigger. But bull grizzlies have a much larger hump to their back than females, and they're also just a lot larger in general. But it doesn't appear they add variety to that. Actually makes me curious about just breeding in general of deer if you need the male and female as well, or if it's even possible. Okay then, yes, so it doesn't matter. Um, or does it? Nope, it does not. Good to know, that's how Minecraft works. Right then, well hold on a second, that bear just stood on his hind legs. Yep. Ah, I see. They're, they're, that's how they attack. Bear do maul deer. Good to know. And the young deer run to their mother for protection. That is actually very interesting. That is something I didn't know they would do. I do like that interaction. Now, I do know that the bears will go fishing, so we could spawn some near the water for fun. Ah, this one's already done it. He's already owned a few fish. Oh, he, he's killed a lot of fish, actually. Ah, oh, we do have cups. Excellent. Just wanted to check that. And the cubs will also follow mother around, which is good. Now, what I'm curious about is there's a thing you learn never to do if you're by a grizzly bear, and that's to go near its cubs. As you can see, I am getting chased off by this thing, and then when it chases me, its cubs follow. And then it goes and attacks me again. But see, it's, it's, he's pretty chill right now, right? This grizzly's pretty chill. And I go, Aw, what cute cubs you got there? And then the grizzly bear freaks out. It's like, I'm going to wreck your stuff up, buddy. Yep. Just as I thought. Not only does it add creatures to land, it also adds creatures to the air. Like this bird thing. Which I have absolutely no idea what it is. What is a lamagear? Now, I suspect lamagears are some sort of vulture or hunting hawk and they can be tamed with a bone. So you can get yourself a friendly new animal companion who um, likes bones. We also have the feral wolf, which um, look a bit like wolves that were added by the bear wolves mods. And uh, they can also be tamed by, I believe, bones. But you need to go into the forest and beat a mighty enemy to get them to bow down to you. Put a dragon head on your own, like a so, and that proves that you are the toughest of the toughest. And now, wild wolves can be made tame into, well, fair wolves, I guess, can be made tame into big dumb dogs, which, I mean, it's still a giant wolf, so. It's, it, it, it's, it's spooky, as all high hell. Now, coyotes, these little suckers here, look adorable, and will, if, Accurate, should get eaten by wolves, or the wolves are leaving them alone. Now, cows in real life are not adorable. They're sneaky little buggers. Trust me on this. Now that the moon is up, their eyes are glowing, and they are in hunting mood, so they will not be tameable at night. If we set the time today, then we can share the food with this little sucker, and he'll become our friend, nice and tamed. And he is adorable when he is not a brute. Hello, Grizzly. Grizzlies are not table. Now, there is even more spiders of the giant variety added, 
and you can get yourself some tarantulas, which look horrid. Alright, so tarantulas are slower than normal spiders, and they apply blinding, and will attack you even during the day, which is lovely. Goats have also been added. Ah, right. We can also milk the goat. If you attack a goat, they will retaliate. However, your tame talk will pick them up and drop them, which is absolutely awesome. And then he'll fly around the meat in circles. Alright, you are pretty cool. Um, hunting hawk, go get the goat. But if we can get this goat to char- oh, oh my. Right, yes, you're doing a good job. Um, or I, I actually am trying to showcase these goats here. If you're aggressive to the goats, they will attack you. But the hawk seems to particularly like murdering goats. But he doesn't seem super inclined to deal with the creepers. So I wonder if he's just a goat murdering chump. Which I am absolutely fine with if he's just a assistant hunting animal. Like this deer here. Oh yeah, no, he'll go after the That is an intense hawk. Okay. Um, will you take down the wolf for me? No? Uh-oh. Now, not only does it add to the air and the land, it also adds to the water. And we can get ourselves tiny little jellyfish. Which, um, you don't want to touch. Because they apply poison and a whole bunch of other nasty things. So, it's best not to fight with the jellyfish. Now, goat's milk is not like cow's milk. And removing bad status effects as well. That is also something to be aware of. Basically, a goat doesn't help you fight a jellyfish. And the hunting hawk only hunts things that are huntable. But wait, there's more. This mod adds a lot of animals. We have pheasants, which we can have our hunting hawk go and kill. And we have cute little babby pheasants. We also have male and females. Females are the far less colorful ones than the males. So these are the female pheasants and these are the males here. Which I do like that touch quite a bit. We have reindeer, which are these big fellows here. They're reindeer, a lovely animal. They pull Santa's sleigh, don't you know? I'm only getting large antlered ones. So that's great to know. Now boars are basically wild pigs with bristles and they should actually turn quite aggressive if attacked so this will prompt them to go after me and my poor hawk oh the hawk's got him good job so they're not the most dangerous things but they will charge and attack and the reindeer also all things considered should fight back slightly but they don't really seem to want to and they've been at a little effect because you're only going to find them in winter biome of them breathing out a bunch of fog which is how you usually find reindeer which is also quite nice added detail now we have some cute little squirrels over here and my hawk is letting me know that there are squirrels available for hunting which is great and these little fellas will probably be the main food source of many, many other creatures. Now, they don't seem to take fall damage, and I am curious to see if they can climb up trees. They do seem to have climbing abilities, and they do like scurrying around the forest, which is kind of nice. Yep, they, they definitely go for the trees. Now, one of the things I've looked forward to seeing are the badgers, which are added, because I absolutely love badgers. I think badgers are a great addition to any mod, and this is no exception. Now, the badgers should definitely be mugging the squirrels, and the badgers appear to have some sort of crazy digging attack. Not a hundred percent certain. They oh yeah, they they 
protect each other. These badgers appear to be more akin to badger moles than real life badgers. So, if we aggro the badger, does he attack? Oh yes, we're we're game badger. My goodness, that is irritating. Now, among the many lovely creatures add, we have lamprey eels, which are horrific and um, bite onto you, which we can have a good showcase of here. I have a lamprey trying to eat me. Now, I accidentally missed this, but there's also songbirds that have been added. Now, you can get babby songbirds as well. I don't seem to have any of them singing right now, unless that's related to game music, so. We've turned up both game music and hostile mob sounds, but these songbirds seem content not to sing, which, yeah, I'm okay with, because they're just pretty cool looking. And when we go back to the water, we can witness the Nautilus, which are absolutely awesome. And if they are getting attacked, like they are, or they're fighting, I guess, plan for eels, they retreat by going bloop and shooting themselves along the ground. Pretty cool. So we got some Nautiluses as well. I like Nautiluses. They're, 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 there's a Pokemon that looks like them. And they give you Cod. How about that? Now we got a few more water animals for you, but these ones will be found on the beaches and not as often by rivers. We got crabs. We got ourselves some normal crabs, which is pretty great. And they can have little babby crabs. And we got ourselves some horseshoe crabs, which are these like weird flat things, which kind of creep me out. And there's another Pokemon that looks like them. Actually, when I put both these together, we can have a Pokemon battle. Alright, go, oh master! Get him, Kabuto! Use claw attack. Use smoke screen. Use claw attack again. Bubble beam. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, master has fainted. I'm I'm an awful person. <laughs> we got a lot of crabs as well. Look at all the crabs. We got so many crabs. Oh boy. We got crabs on this beach. Well, it appears you cannot get the crabs crab rave, which again I am disappointed with. Both mods that add crabs to the game do not make crabs dance when you add music to them, which I think should just be a feature added whenever you add crabs. Oh well. After the crabs for our water creatures, we got sharks. We got flathead sharks. We got, or hammerhead sharks. That's not flathead. Hammerhead sharks. We got long sharks. We got other long sharks. We've got, I don't even remember what those are called. Maybe that's a flat shark. We've got um, the coloring of a whale shark, but. Not really the mouth? Let's let's look at his mouth. Yeah, that's the coloring of a whale shark, but it's definitely not a whale shark. Don't know what those are. It looks nothing like a whale shark. Um But we got loads of different sharks. We got I think that might be a great white. No, great whites don't look like that. Don't know how much like room we need. It, it seems pretty random which sharks we get. But we got sharks. And sharks will eat the fish, which is pretty cool. Um, and sharks can't breathe on land. Who would have thunk? Now, moving back to more respectable animals that uh, aren't sharks and fish and stuff, we got moose, which are accurately freaking massive, like moose are, which I think is great. Ooh, we got the great white moose. Now, moose are only come in the moose variety, a bull moose. That's all we're getting here is bull moose, which I'm fine with. We don't have any little meese. Just got a whole load of moose. Now, let's see if these bears are dumb enough to tangle with a moose. Nope. The moose is walking around like, yeah, sure, what's going on? And the wolf is like, seriously? You got a moose here? And yep, we got ourselves some meese. I also got turkeys, which are like chickens, but different, because they're turkeys. Uh, they're like bigger chickens, and the grizzly bears are definitely eyeing them up. And they make the little pecking noise, much like the pheasant did. And make chicken noises if hit. 
We've also got a bone worm. What on earth? Okay, I think the idea here is that um, bugs in Minecraft are massive compared to what they are in the real world, as we see with silverfish and spiders. And so, whatever th on earth a bobbit worm is... Am I going to regret looking this up? Ah, well, something I didn't know about the bobbit worm, which I should have realized by the little things on the side, is they are actually an underwater creature, and they are also very nightmarish looking. Um, they are 10 centimeters to 3 meters long, so this is actually um, not too inaccurate. And they are very, very creepy looking. Um, many ranges of colors, so that's accurate as well, of giving them the rainbows. And uh, they like digging themselves into the sand and sort of poking up like this, and then they like, bite their victims. They're actually rather terrifying. Now we'll see if they are aggressive in this mod or not. Oh my gosh, yes, they are. They grab you and set the mounted stat to you, which is nasty, especially if you're deep underwater and one of those things grabs you. Ugh. Well, good to know. Stay clear of them or they'll grab you. We also have gooses, which are a Canadian bird. A Canadian goose over there. Also got some non-Canadian geese. Gooses also are familiar with the water. And they've done a lovely little animation making them bob block the water, which is actually great. The animal of air, water, and land. Now these suckers should actually be able to fly. And if I'm aggressive to them on the land, hopefully they would fly. They don't seem to want to. They seem to prefer running to water, which is fine. Then we have some fresh water eels, which are very... Oh my gosh, those are... Big eels. We'll drop a few freshwater eels over here. And we're going to poke it with a stick. I feel like Crocodile Hunter. Going to poke it with a stick. Are you going to retaliate? Nope. These freshwater eels are non aggressive creatures. They just keep to themselves. Well, at least they're not that. We have the saltwater eel which is much bigger than its counterpart of the freshwater eel and um, a lot creepier too to also be non-aggressive which I... oh no, nope, never mind, they are aggressive, they will attack they just don't really have an animation, don't go for you good to know now bears seem pretty chill in fact, they'll even accept chicken from you you wanna go mate? you wanna go? alright, we'll go bring it on I got netherite armor, I've got golden apple you're nothing! Chump. Now, hopefully we'll have enough room for this. As we have whales next on the menu. And, again, we got a nice variety of whales going on here. We've... I don't know their names. Gray whales and baleen, I think. Um, that is maybe a sperm whale, although it looks like an oversized dolphin. Um, no, what are they called? They Actually, they're not... Mm. Right, well we got a good old big selection of whales. These are actually kind of small whales, considering how freaking big whales can be. So, we'll count this as a blessing that there's no blue whales like at my game. Now whales appear to be beachable, and they just sort of flop about there sadly. They should start getting crushed by their own weight, but... These um, ones don't seem super inclined. Oh, we got, um, they're the hard ones. I'm called Nautilus Whales? No, I, I don't remember. Oh yes, that's it. I should remember their names. It's a narwhale. Narwhale, narwhale swimming in the ocean, causing such a commotion. Right. Yes, it's a narwhale and it is a two. After our whale cabal, we've got walruses, which, um, believe it or not, are far too small for how big walruses are. Um, because walruses are huge. I mean, there are some smaller walruses, I guess, and that could be these. But walruses are absolutely massive, and while these are pretty big, they're not as big as I would like. And the walruses, don't you know, are also swimmers. They're like manatees with tusks. So they swim around, and they look absolutely adorable while swimming. Speaking of manatees, we got butterflies. Now, oh my goodness, they are 
gorgeous. And they go after flowers to pollinate? Oh my. We got we got a lot of butterflies over here doing some pollination. This this is a good mod if you just get the butterflies spawning around. Look at the little things. My. We've got the monarch butterfly, and that's the only name I know because we raised monarch butterflies in school. But yeah, we got a lot of we got a lot of butterflies. We also got dragonflies. Look at this. Now, dragonflies um, are actually start in underwater stages, dragonfly nymphs, but these ones uh, don't. However, they do seem inclined to diving, which dragonflies do while hunting. They will go underwater sometimes. But man, got some dragonflies here. And oh, this is a water creature. What is it? A bracketa. Which is, looks like some sort of hunting fish. Which might be aggressive. We also got some flying fish. Which, um, should jump out of the water to try to eat bugs and stuff. Which is pretty cool. And colossal squid. Which are absolutely massive and terrifying squid that are only in the deepest of oceans. And we got Giant squid as well, which are a little different than the colossal squid. Yes, colossal and giant squid, very fancy. Oh my goodness, aren't they something? Now the real question is, am I about to immediately just regret my decision? Bring it on! Squid boy. Okay, he just inks at me. You would think that they would attack me. And maybe they just don't have enough room. And we do have like the 200 leagues under the sea achievement, which... I think is a pretty cool achievement. And we got the flying fish. Um, checking out the brocodile. We just spawned him in. Where'd he go? Ah, uh, there we go. Brocodile, bring it on! Oh, something's attacking me. Is there a lack of air? No, it's a brocodile. Excellent. So the only aggressive thing in that lot was the brocodile, which I still don't know what they are. And finally, to round off the water creatures, we got some piranhas and octopi. Octopodes, octopuses, which are um, lovely little friends that go flat on the bottom's water and kind of drift about looking all weird and creepy like. And, um, oh my gosh, that's a blue ringed octopus. We are not in a good situation right now. Anyways, ignoring the octopuses, we come back over here. I get a whole bunch more piranhas. Uh, we can get mauled by them. Which is loads of fun. Go away. As you can see, this mod adds a lot of creatures, but it also adds a lot more than just the animals. It adds new drops and new things from them. So one of the big things it adds is a whole lot of new kinds of food, which we have here. So most of the food is quite straightforward. You just throw it into a cooker of some sort and it'll get cooking. You can cook pheasant eggs, and they will turn into boiled eggs. Blubber, you just have to eat straight up. But there is a whole lot of stuff. We've got venison, um, raw pheasant, turkey, raw camari, which calamari. We've got raw crab meat. We've got raw eel, which is unagi. But it's pronounced differently. And we have raw turkey. All these can be cooked into various new lovely forms of food. But wait, there is more. If you are so inclined, you can combine goat milk with a mushroom to get goat cheese, which is pretty nifty. Also, gooses sometimes have a chance to lay a golden egg and you can melt it down to get resources. Apparently, we're going to see what happens. Ah, golden naked, pretty nice. But animals can be uh, how do you say it, uh, beheaded, and then have their heads mounted on the walls. And we got a whole lot of them. We got deer, we got elk, we got wolves along here, we got reindeer, we got the boars, we got the bears. Basically, if the animal has a head, you can knock that head off and mount it. Which um, is another fascinating thing added to the game. Antlers and horns and the like can be taken from creatures like this when killed, when crafted with, as shown up there. In the crafting table, they become bone meal. But there's even more to it than that. For in the times of myths and legends, heroes would wear various animal pelts as clothing. And we got a whole bunch of different animal pelts we can wear. You can wear basically only the wolf and the bear stuff, but they make some pretty swifty capes. Capes are made by making a Y pattern, which sort of looks like the cape, 
That's the same with the bear cape. Again, we make that sort of slingshot. Get bear cape. And they will just look like you got a furry tail if you're a wolf. Or if you wear the bear one, it gets this nice little cloak look to it. And on the front, it's got that claws hanging down the front, which, you know, they just look good. And it shows that you're a real cool guy. You hunt bears. And that is Better Animals Plus. The mod that adds even more animals to Minecraft. This was version 1.16.4 for Java Edition. You can go to the mod page yourself to find out if it's for any other editions or versions of Minecraft. I highly doubt it will be. It is for different versions of Java, but I don't think it's for Bedrock or anything like that. And it is compatible with basically all other mods. It's really cool. Check it out. And uh, yeah, have a great day. If you want me to showcase any other mods in my rather odd style that this is, which is the, I don't know, straightforward, hey, let's look at these things together and I'll do like a tiny bit of research, we can. Or if you would want some showcase mods in my more research and scripted manner, like my avatar mods, let me know which ones you want and let me know which mods you want format. You can go, hey, just do a casual showcase of this mod or do a casual um, how to of this mod. I don't actually do casual how to's, but um, yeah, do a how to of this mod or do a casual showcase of this mod or do a, I don't know, more intense showcase of this mod. Just let me know what you want. Let me know the name of the mod and we will get them done. And until next time, thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Thank you.